Today's devotion is about Jesus being the gift of future glory. One of the biggest challenges for our world as a whole, and for us as individuals, is looking at our current circumstances and asking, how can this turn out for good in the end? It was a challenge to God's people at the time of Jesus' birth too. Following Israel's exile, return, and oppression under foreign rule for the last 400 years, generations of Israelites have been asking this question, how will God keep his promises? We're going to be reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 25 to 33. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother marvelled at what was said about him. In this passage, Luke uses the word consolation to describe the patient longing within Simeon as he waited for God to keep his promises. It's a description of someone in mourning, waiting for a loved one to come and comfort them, to remind them of God's nature of faithfulness, and to lift their eyes to the future in the expectation that God never fails about bringing about his plans. And as Simeon looks up and sees a tiny baby boy, the Holy Spirit opens his eyes to see the wonder of God's plan made real right in front of him. In Simeon's incredible prayer that follows, he mentions two things that the arrival of Jesus will bring. Revelation to the Gentiles and glory to Israel. God is revealing to all people that his love and care for this world is personified in Jesus, bringing hope of forgiveness and restoration to the world. And secondly, God is bringing glory to Israel. All they have longed for since God's promises to Abraham that Israel would bring blessing to the whole world is right here in front of Simeon. Israel's true purpose of bringing that blessing into the world is being fulfilled. What a hope for our future. We also were outsiders and strangers who have been brought into God's family by the grace and love found in Jesus. And we too can look to a day when his rule and reign on the earth will spread to every corner and into every heart, when truth and justice will reign forever. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for sending the light of Jesus into our world. Lord, your care and compassion can be seen in your Son, how he reached out and touched the brokenhearted. We thank you for his example in his ultimate sacrifice and the hope that can be found there. We long to see that day when truth and justice will reign and your kingdom will be seen in all the world. Lord, help us to be that light today as we hold on to that promise of future glory. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.